When Blaine Moore catches up with his brother Todd for a chat during the growing season, they usually have lots to talk about. Together they run Moore Farms near Francis, Saskatchewan, which covers over 8,000 acres of cropland, including cereals, oil seeds, and pulse crops. Like many farmers these days, the sprayer is one of their most important farm implements. Several years ago, they decided their old water truck needed to be replaced. A smaller version, and it worked fine until we upgraded our sprayer, and then we realized we needed a, a bigger truck to compensate for the larger sprayer to go from the farm to the field. The truck they chose is a 2005 Peterbilt, which had been used by its previous owner for hauling freight. They salvaged the 3,800 gallon water tank now on the truck from the oil field. We like the, the tank itself because it doesn't allow sunlight on water and that way when there's no sunlight on water it doesn't get the algae effect. So it's, it's got its pros and cons but that's the one reason why we like it. Got it sandblasted, painted, mounted. Uh, we put a PTO pump on that allows us to to suck out of a dugout or out of a ditch or anywhere there's any water, it's self-priming, it's, it's pretty decent. Um, it'll fill a 3,800 gallon tank in about 18 minutes, 20 minutes, depending on distance. And then we put a, another pump on it and a hose reel. We can wash mud off our equipment or if needed, if there's fires in the fall at harvest time, which sometimes there is, we can use it for fighting fires also. The 1,200 gallon water tank on the trailer gives them a combined capacity of right around 5,000 gallons or four fills of their sprayer. The actual filling is a simple matter of hooking up the hose and starting the pump. They can usually carry enough chemical on the trailer for about 1,000 acres and have plenty of built-in flexibility according to Blaine's brother, Todd. This manifold system allows me to have three different products that I can fill. Um, I got a flush valve in here to flush water through to clean everything quick. It's hooked in direct so it's just a matter of opening the valve when you're filling the sprayer and it flushes the complete system out. Got an electric pump here that pumps it of course and a meter which meters each product that you're allowed to zero every time you switch products. And three inch pumping system which loads in approximately 10 minutes. The trailer is sturdy enough that they can drive the sprayer onto it, which makes things go a lot quicker when moving from one field to the next. After purchasing the trailer, they had to figure out how to most efficiently utilize the space on it and still have room for the sprayer. Well, we had the flagging. We got to have permits, of course, because it's over width. So we got a seasonal permit that we put on every year. Um, the barrels and the shuttles we haul in the front because we need the clearance for the sprayer. The sprayer straddles the tank. Um, signs are all on the trailer permanently on the back, so we don't have to be moving signs always. The Moore brothers agree that this truck and trailer tandem has made their operation much more efficient during spraying season. As mentioned earlier, they can now fill their sprayer four times before the truck and trailer are empty. Where before used to take you know, a 1,400 gallon tank on a, a small trailer and a few chemical jugs or what have you, but we never had enough, enough volume to, to go for a part of a day. The Moore brothers are only in their first season of using this truck and trailer unit for spraying, but they're already very pleased with the results. They set up all aspects of the system to make it as simple as possible and user friendly. If there's labor shortages, one man can go himself, but if we got an extra um, a body kicking around, he'll drive the water truck and one man will sit in the sprayer all day. Blaine told us they considered other options for their water delivery system before settling on this one. They thought about acquiring a semi with a fifth wheel trailer hookup, but decided this truck was better equipped to handle a variety of jobs. We can unhook the trailer if we want to do jobs, like I said, washing equipment and stuff, it's easier to get around, same thing, like I said, if there's ever a fire somewhere, we can drive right in the field with this. And what we do, one guy drives the truck and one guy's up on top with the fire hose shooting down on the fire. So it's, it's a multi-use. We've used the truck in towns to water streets. If they're dusty too, we've got a water bar on the back to wet roads down too. So that's why we like the, the tandem, as you see. 
Even though they are only in their first season of using this tandem water hauling system, Blaine and his brother Todd haven't run into any significant problems with it. As a result, they aren't planning any major changes. Uh, maybe some of the plumbing on the trailer as time goes on, because we've done a lot of modifications over the last few years, we might change some of the hosing a little bit, make it a little neater for when you crawl up and down the trailer, but either not, very, very minute. Getting this truck and trailer ready for water hauling and carrying their sprayer took the Moore brothers about two weeks of actual work spread out over the winter months. The total cost of materials, including the truck and trailer, came to about $55,000, which is an investment they expect will continue to pay off for them as time goes on.